The Biblical Definitions In Christian theology, the titles Lord and Savior attributed to Jesus Christ carry profound implications. The title Lord signifies authority and supremacy. In the New Testament, particularly in the book of Philippians, Paul emphasizes that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, Philippians 2 verse 10, asserting Jesus' lordship over all creation. This title reflects his divine authority and the acknowledgement of his rule by believers. The title, Savior, refers to the role of Jesus as the deliverer from sin. According to Christian belief, through his death and resurrection, Jesus reconciles humanity to God, offering salvation from sin and eternal life. This is encapsulated in the Gospel of John, where it says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life, John 3 verse 16. Scriptural References Establishing Jesus' Roles Throughout the Bible, numerous passages underline the dual roles of Jesus as both Lord and Savior. In the Gospels, Jesus' miracles, teachings, and resurrection are seen as divine acts that affirm his identity. Acts 2 verse 36 declares, Let all the house of Israel therefore know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Additionally, the epistles further elaborate these concepts. Titus 2 verses 13 to 14 talks about waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for himself a people for his own possession who are zealous for good works. Theological Significance The acceptance of Jesus as Lord and Savior is central to Christian doctrine. It not only implies a recognition of his divine authority and salvific role, but also a personal submission to follow his teachings and live according to his example. This acceptance is what sets the foundation for a personal relationship with God, transforming an individual's life and actions. By recognizing Jesus as Lord, believers acknowledge his ultimate authority over their lives, committing to obey and serve him. By recognizing him as Savior, they accept his gift of salvation, which frees them from the bondage of sin and offers hope of eternal life. The understanding of these titles shapes the entire Christian faith, influencing how believers pray, worship, and interact with the world around them. It's a declaration of faith that affects all aspects of life, insisting on a daily commitment and reflection on one's actions and choices. Accepting Jesus Personally Accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior is a profound act of personal faith that goes beyond mere acknowledgement of his historical existence or role as a divine figure. It involves an intimate and personal decision that has the power to transform an individual's life. This decision is rooted in belief, trust, and commitment, entailing a surrender of one's life to Jesus' guidance and a dedication to follow his teachings. Transformation Through Faith When someone accepts Jesus as Lord and Savior, they are essentially stating that they want his teachings and character to permeate their lives. This transformation is evident in the New Testament, where followers of Jesus undergo dramatic changes. For example, the Apostle Paul, once a persecutor of Christians, becomes a principal figure in spreading Christianity after encountering Jesus, Acts 9. This change is not merely behavioral but involves a deep-seated renewal of mind and spirit. Romans 12 verse 2 captures this transformation, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. This transformation involves adopting new values that reflect kindness, compassion, integrity, and selflessness, traits that Jesus exemplified. Testimonies of Changed Lives Real-life testimonies underscore the transformative impact of accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior. 
Many individuals credit their faith in Jesus for profound personal changes, from overcoming addictions and healing broken relationships to finding a deeper purpose in life. These stories are not just about moral improvement but also about finding a new sense of hope and peace. For instance, consider the story of a person who struggled with a life-controlling addiction for years. After embracing faith in Jesus, they found not only the strength to overcome their addiction but also the motivation to help others with similar struggles. Their life's direction and purpose dramatically shifted, showing the practical implications of their spiritual transformation. Ongoing Commitment Accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior is not a one-time event but a continuous journey of faith. It requires ongoing engagement with the Bible, prayer, and fellowship with other believers. This commitment is evident in daily decisions and actions, reflecting an ongoing trust in Jesus' guidance and a desire to embody His teachings. Christians often participate in activities such as Bible studies, prayer meetings, and community service, which reinforce their commitment and help them grow spiritually. This ongoing process is crucial for maintaining a vibrant and transformative faith. Challenges and Renewal Despite the initial decision, maintaining faith is not without challenges. Doubts, life trials, and external pressures can test one's faith. However, these challenges also provide opportunities for growth and renewal. Engaging with these difficulties through prayer, scripture, and community support can strengthen faith and deepen one's relationship with Jesus. Daily Decision-Making and Jesus' Influence For Christians who accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, their faith influences not just their church activities but every aspect of their daily lives. This influence is evident in how they make decisions, interact with others, and face challenges. The teachings of Jesus, such as loving one's neighbor, forgiving others, and seeking justice, serve as guiding principles. Ethical Behavior and Moral Decisions Jesus' teachings provide a moral framework for Christians. The Sermon on the Mount, for example, offers profound insights into how believers are to conduct themselves. This includes admonitions to be peacemakers, to love one's enemies, and to practice humility and generosity. Applying these teachings in everyday situations can be challenging but is considered a vital part of living out one's faith. The moral standards set by Jesus help believers navigate complex ethical dilemmas in personal and professional settings. Whether it's dealing with workplace conflicts or responding to societal injustices, the teachings of Jesus offer a foundational compass for action. Prayer and Worship Prayer and worship are central to maintaining a daily connection with Jesus as Lord and Savior. Through prayer, Christians communicate with God, express their needs and thanksgivings, and seek guidance. Worship, whether done privately through personal devotion or publicly in church services, is an expression of reverence and adoration for Jesus and an affirmation of His Lordship over their lives. These practices are not mere rituals but are ways to cultivate a personal relationship with Jesus, drawing strength and wisdom from Him. The Lord's Prayer, taught by Jesus as a model of prayer, encapsulates key elements of worship, petition, and submission to God's will. Community Influence Living out faith in Jesus also involves a communal aspect. Believers often find strength and encouragement through fellowship with other Christians. This community support is vital for spiritual growth and helps members live out their faith in practical ways, such as serving together in local charities or supporting each other through life's challenges. The community also plays a crucial role in holding each member accountable to the teachings of Jesus, ensuring that their lives reflect the gospel they profess to believe. This accountability is often managed through small group meetings or mentorship relationships within the church. Examples of Daily Practices 
Many Christians begin their day with Bible reading and prayer to set a spiritual tone for the day. Throughout the day, decisions are filtered through a Christian worldview, considering what Jesus would advocate in a given situation. This might look like choosing honesty over deceit in a business deal, offering forgiveness instead of holding a grudge, or engaging in volunteer work to help those in need. Moreover, many believers engage in regular church attendance, community service, and other forms of ministry, seeing these activities not only as obligations but as opportunities to live out their faith in tangible ways. Internal Struggles and Doubts Accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior is a profound commitment, but maintaining this commitment can be challenging due to internal struggles and doubts. These may arise from personal weaknesses, misunderstandings about faith, or crises that shake one's belief system. Doubts can also stem from intellectual inquiries about the nature of God, the problem of evil, or the reliability of the Bible. Christians often deal with these doubts through prayer, study, and seeking counsel from more experienced believers or pastors. Addressing doubts openly and honestly is encouraged within the faith as a way to deepen understanding and commitment. The Challenge of Consistency Living a life that consistently reflects Jesus' teachings is perhaps one of the most significant challenges. This includes everyday actions and decisions where the easier or more convenient choice might not necessarily align with Christian principles. For example, the business world may present ethical dilemmas that test one's integrity or the pressure to retaliate when wronged instead of offering forgiveness. The New Testament speaks frequently about the struggle against sin and the call to live a holy life, as seen in passages like Romans 12 verses 1 to 2, which urge believers to not conform to the world but to be transformed by the renewing of their minds. This transformation is a lifelong process, often requiring daily recommitment to Jesus' Lordship. External Pressures and Persecution External pressures, such as societal norms, cultural expectations, or outright persecution, can also challenge a believer's faith in Jesus as Lord and Savior. In some parts of the world, being a Christian can lead to social ostracism, legal penalties, or even violence. Such pressures test the resilience and depth of a believer's faith. In more secular societies, Christians may face ridicule or marginalization for holding beliefs that run counter to mainstream culture, especially on moral and ethical issues. Standing firm in such environments demands courage and a strong conviction of one's faith. Navigating Cultural and Generational Differences Within the Christian community itself, cultural and generational differences can pose challenges in accepting and practicing faith in a unified manner. Different interpretations of scripture and the application of Christian doctrine to contemporary issues can lead to divisions and misunderstandings among believers. Navigating these differences requires a commitment to unity and love, principles that Jesus himself emphasized. It also involves engaging in open and respectful dialogue to understand and learn from diverse perspectives within the faith. Tools for Overcoming Challenges The Christian faith offers several tools to help believers overcome these challenges, including Scriptural study and meditation, engaging deeply with the Bible provides guidance and encouragement. Prayer Communicating with God helps strengthen faith and receive wisdom. Fellowship, being part of a community offers support and accountability. Spiritual disciplines, practices like fasting, meditation, and worship deepen one's connection to God and fortify the spirit against challenges. Conclusion and Reflection Accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior is a journey that encompasses both immense joy and profound challenges. It demands a heart open to transformation and a will committed to following Jesus despite internal doubts and external pressures. For those who undertake this journey, 
The rewards are not just in the promise of eternal life, but also in experiencing a deep and meaningful life here and now. Influencing Communities and Cultures The belief in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior has not only transformed individual lives but has also had a profound impact on communities and cultures around the world. The teachings of Jesus about love, forgiveness, and justice have influenced numerous social movements, charity organizations, and policies aimed at improving human welfare and promoting ethical standards. Inspiring Social Change Throughout history, many advocates for social justice and humanitarian efforts have been motivated by their Christian faith. Notable examples include William Wilberforce's campaign against the slave trade in the 19th century and Martin Luther King Jr.'s leadership in the civil rights movement in the 20th century. These individuals drew strength and inspiration from their belief in Jesus, using their faith as a catalyst for fighting against oppression and inequality. Charity and Service the Christian command to love one's neighbor has led to the establishment of numerous charitable organizations that work to alleviate poverty, provide education, and respond to disasters. Organizations such as World Vision, the Salvation Army, and many hospital systems founded in Christian nations reflect this commitment. Their efforts are often an expression of their faith's calling to serve the least, the last, and the lost. Cultural Integration and Adaptation As Christianity has spread across the globe, the message of Jesus has been integrated into diverse cultures, each adding its unique expression to the practice of faith. This adaptability has allowed Christianity to become deeply rooted in a variety of cultural contexts, influencing art, music, literature, and public life in countless ways. Ethical Influence on Global Issues Christian teachings have also played a role in shaping international discussions on human rights, economic justice, and environmental stewardship. The Christian view of human dignity has influenced debates on issues like human trafficking, refugee care, and climate change, promoting a moral framework that upholds the sanctity and value of human life. This exploration of whether Jesus Christ is truly your Lord and Savior underscores a crucial point. The decision to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior carries significant personal and communal implications. It's a decision that calls for deep reflection, given its profound impact on one's ethics, behaviors, and purposes. For those who say, yes, this belief is not merely a nominal affiliation but a transformative engagement that shapes every aspect of their lives. It encourages a lifestyle that seeks to emulate the compassion, humility, and love exemplified by Jesus. Moreover, this faith is not confined to personal piety but extends to influencing societal values and actions, advocating for a world that reflects the justice and peace preached by Jesus. In sum, accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior is about much more than personal salvation, it's about participating in a redemptive movement that spans across history and culture, aiming to bring about a profound transformation both in individuals and in the world at large. As we conclude, let us reflect on the gravity and depth of what it means to truly declare Jesus as Lord and Savior considering not only the eternal implications but also the present-day call to live out this faith authentically and courageously.